Welcome everybody to day five of this first test match from Dubai International Stadium. Australia resume at 136 for the loss of three wickets. The target, 326 runs. If they want to win this test match, you would think for the Australians at the moment, it's all about batting it out for three sessions of play. Travis Head looked good last night, 34 not out for him, a left-hander. And Usman Khawaja continuing his very good form from the first innings. He is 50 not out. Spent a lot of time out in the middle. We gained a lot of confidence the way he's gone about it. Here's Riaz. And just shaves down the leg side. So there is a hint of reverse swing. And one man that knows that so well is Waka Yunus. And he's alongside me. Morning, Waka. That's fine. Might beat the fine leg. And it does. Another one just sliding down the leg side. Yeah, the consistency is missing when you talk about radaring the ball. He's uh, way too on the leg side. He'll he bowl a couple of good deliveries and then he sort of sprays all over the place, Wahab. You need to create that pressure by bowling dot deliveries and that's not happening at the moment. Really impressed by Khwaja, the way he batted in both innings. Not sure if you got a bit of bat on it. There's something on it. It'll be for Australia either way. And it'll trickle into the boundary. And yes, a little bit of bat on it there from Travis Head. Well, Safra's got a little bit careful. This is a third time ball going either through his legs or he's not really stopping the balls. So you've got to keep, put your pads in front at least. Just a tiny edge. Oh! Oh! Well, the keeper would know whether there was an edge or not, and he's not going for a review. Nice flight, a little bit more pace on the ball and beat him. All ends up. Beautiful delivery. He, was, he had to play that line. Oh! Oh, that's close. That pitch within... Uh, Will they go for a review? What are they thinking? Time is running out. They've got one review left, so playing it safe, Pakistan. Not going for it. Pitching in the pitch map, uh, hitting halfway up middle stump. Oh dear. The Australians have dodged a bullet there, that's for sure. Only one review left, so maybe he was just a bit worried early in the day. Did it pitch in line. They were very confident initially. Oh, they won't be happy. Fifty for Trevor said on debut. That's wonderful innings under pressure on a turning pitch. It's a lovely innings here. So yeah, to really get cracking in the second Australia needed a big knock from the middle order batsman and he's delivered lovely knock Oi! that's a hundred partnership between Usman Khawaja and Travis Head have worked hard late last night and early this morning the first hour of play it's exactly what Tim Payne and the Australians needed There's a change of pace, but it's good enough for Kawaja and he gets it through. Boundary. First time really that he's over pitched and given Kawaja the liberty to drive through the offside and you can see the frustration. Just went with that slow one, trying something a little different. And just too full. And a good shot, well spotted from Kawaja. He's been out there a long time, he's batted well, but make sure to put away those deliveries on offer to the fence very important even when you're trying to save a test match oh! 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 i think that's going to be outside the line of the off stump watcher stuck on the crease on that occasion but did enough to get outside the line 
Safraz is going to go down and have a chat to his bowler. Might be out of desperation review. He is going to review. Wow. OK, well, let's have a listen to the third umpire. Pitching outside off. Impact umpire's call. Wicket setting. You can stay with your original decision of not out. I will let you know when you're on screen. If you're on screen now, make the signal. Straight away, it's a good one and given. What a start. He does it all the time almost for Pakistan and just the kind of breakthrough they were hoping for in the second session. It's Pakistan with a valuable scout with the new ball. There you go, new ball. Hafiz comes on. He's brilliant against left-handers. Gets the ball to skip on. And it does the trick. All smiles, Pakistan, but... I to fly it up, but because it's new, just get it on. Travis said, just on that back foot, right in front, plumb in front. Pakistan in the game. 72 for Travis Head on debut, 219 for four. So Labushain is the new man in. Manas Labushain, 37 first class matches, best of 134. Oh, Big shot, clears the mid-on fielder. Safraz so there telling his bowler, it's all right, it's all right, let them hit. There's an opportunity if you play the ball in the air, so Pakistan at this stage wouldn't mind this kind of batting display from Khaja, taking a little bit of risk, going against the spin, but connected it quite well. Another big shot into the 90s. That's good batting, aggressive batting. Taking the attack to Mohammad Afiz, and this may just force a field change. Yeah, again, the ball's not going to spin a lot, just get on, and so he hit it over mid on. Got close enough to loft the ball and get another boundary. Goes back, works it into the gap, and there it is. It's a hundred for Usman Khaja. His first against Pakistan, what a knock under pressure. He is absolutely loving it. He should be very proud of this century. Brilliant innings. Second innings as well. He's looked accomplished against spin. The demons about Asia put to bed. Had his method of coming down the track and reverse sweeping, sweeping, but what an innings. Just turned the corner in Asia, turned the corner in his test career, and the emotions flowing. Oh, great six. Magnificent shot. Good use of the feet there. Taking a liking to Hafiz's bowling. Not threatened by him anymore. But lovely use of the feet on that occasion. Are they thinking of chasing this down? Safraz not happy at all, but a fantastic hit. Straight down. positive. Ah! Close and given. That was always the danger. Yasir Shah drifting the ball back in. Manus Labashain's going to have to go. Good bowling from Yasir Shah, and will that get his tail up for the rest of this match? Yeah, first wicket for Yasir. Completely misread the line and the length. It was a uh, full length delivery and Labusheng, I think he was thinking that he can manage it from the back foot. No way you can manage that. That's a new ball. That's going on and hit the middle stump. Big wicket. First one, but a big one. Yeah, Manus Labashain, he goes for 13. Australia lose their fifth wicket for 252. Kempton comes on to the crease. Very young at this level. Only second uh, game as captain and only played 14 test matches. Average is not bad. Oh! oh, my goodness me. That was so close to the off stump. Yasir Shah cannot believe that's missed. 
Don't do that. <laughs> oh, 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 that was so close to that. It's it was nice. a flipper, wasn't it? It was a flipper. Or maybe he tried that googly. It did not spin at all. Oh. All it needed was another coat of paint. <laughs> oh, cut away nicely from Tim Payne. He'll get at least a couple. Or will he get a boundary? Well, good work in the deep. Some relief for Tim Payne. He'll be pretty happy to get down to that non-striker's end. Take a few deep breaths. One more frame, I guess. There. I think if he's done a good job. Yep, I think he's done a good job. Third umpire just wanting to check again, but I agree. I think he's just managed to keep the ball in. No, third umpire disagrees with us. And Tim Payne will head back down to the striker's end. He bowled extremely well, but now it's just be easy picking. Beautiful use of the feet once again from Khwaja. Well, it just drifted, didn't it, out to outside the off stump. And Khwaja got down the wicket beautifully. There was a big gap between mid-off. There's no cover. It's just a point. On the pads and whipped for runs. A boss will not be able to stop the ball that's a very good shot that's a cut shot and played fine and for four he's rid him so well he's, he's played yasisha with a lot of authority forward and back and cutting him and defending well it's been a very good innings yeah and that's his strength gets back a long way and cuts the ball away back with a point I just wonder if Yassir Shah is trying to set him up, pushing him back, looking for an LBW, but it was just a little bit of width on offer, and Tim Payne got deep in the crease and placed it away nicely behind backward point. Was that high? That will be the question. There is still a review left for Pakistan. And the captain, Safraz Ahmed, the keeper, canvassing their opinions and he's taking it on going upstairs and we'll hear Copy from third umpire take it back yeah yeah thank you i'm going back to the on-field umpire richard there was an inside edge you can stay with your original decision of not out Yasser Shah strikes for Pakistan. It's the Centurion who's been dismissed. He's going to have a word with his partner. They've gone for a review. Ball tracking coming up. Pitching outside off. Impact in line. Wickets hitting. You can stay with your original decision of out. I will let you know when you're on screen. You're on screen now. Make the signal. Brilliant innings. 141 from 302 balls. 25.3 overs to be precise. Magnificent hundred. Great reserves of energy and focus. Gone for 140. <laughs> Take a magnificent piece of fielding at short leg. Who have we got there? Under the helmet. Yeah, the bounce. He's trying to turn it on the leg side. Babur Azam with a full length dive at short leg. Yasser Shah pound Pakistan. Well and truly in this seven down. Mr. Stark out for one. 3.33 for seven. Ah! Appeal and gone. The finger is raised. Pakistan are turning it, turning it on. Yasser Shah has picked up another. Wicketless in the first innings and plenty of wickets in the second and wickets falling in heap for Australia. They're going back, the ball just getting on. A little bit of spin maybe, and it hit the pad before the bat came on. Late on the delivery, Yasser Shah in his element. He's left it late, but he's making sure that he bowls Australia out. 3.33 for eight, Siddle goes without scoring. The 
at least be two. Fifty up for the captain of Australia. He'll raise the bat slightly, but he won't be thinking about it. He's thinking about getting this team over the line drawing this test match and that will feel like a win for him oh, oh that is just stuck through he jammed it down he's looking at the bottom of his bat oh that was a little inside edge or was it buys it doesn't matter it's going to go to the rope but it just went over the leg stump and it was a little inside edge Close, very close. Going down the leg side. Richard Ellingworth not interested. Yeah, definite two noises in the ball, sort of also slipping down. No reviews left. So close, but so far away. As well. Yeah. Close, is it? They're appealing. Not out, says Richard Kettlebra. It must be very easy to try too hard in this situation, but you do need to relax, trust your skills. Here we go. Six balls remaining. Oh, that's a nice start. Oh, Tim Payne wants the single, does he? No, oh, he's coming back for two. Absolutely crazy. Oh, catches the outside edge. It's so close. Come on, one ball, see it out of the hand, hit it in the middle of the bat. Here we go. Oh, and he's done it. A little fist pump there by Tim Payne. And Safra says, well, that's enough. We can't win now. Congratulations, Australia, they've held on. Here's the Australian second innings. Finch and Kawaja got Australia off to a very good start. And again, Usman Kawaja, what an innings. 141, over 300 deliveries. Then there was a, a, bit, a bit of a problem for Australia. Sean and Mitch Marsh both went for a duck. Head played extremely well in his first test match for 72. Hafiz got his wicket with the second new ball and you thought, oh, Pakistan are right back in this. Labashain, he tried hard, only, went, only made 13, but then Tim Payne came to the crease Played very, very well indeed. He was there at the end, 61 not out. Again, a bit of a wobble from Australia, but Nathan Lyon facing 34 balls at the end. Helped uh, hang on with Tim Payne with a partnership of 29, and Australia managed to hold on. There's the partnerships. Look at that one at the end, 29 from Tim Payne and Nathan Lyon in 73 deliveries. But the big ones were Kawaja and Travis Head and the opening stand of Kawaja and Aaron Finch. Pakistan bowled decently. Abbas was fantastic yesterday with three wickets. Yasser Shah came to the party at the back end and got those four wickets and thought that he'd bowl Pakistan to victory, but the others tries hard. Wahab didn't have the best of the test matches. He just looked off colour, but in the end, it wasn't enough. They couldn't bowl out, and that meant Australia got to 362 and survived and made that great escape. And what a fantastic first test match we've had. 482 played 202. Hafiz got that magnificent 126. Kwaja led the way with 85 for Australia. Pakistan declared at 181 for six. Holland getting three wickets, but it was Kwaja's 141 and Tim Payne's battling innings that meant that Australia didn't get bowled out. 362.